Hey guys, I'm Rich Woods from NeoWin. Today we are unboxing the Nexus 5X with Project Phi. Okay, so here's the thing. We've done a review of the, the Nexus 5X before. That's nothing new. This phone has been out for ooh, six months, <laughs> something like that. Um, so Project Phi is what's new. And what I plan to do is actually review the service. Okay, now the Nexus 5X is a great phone, so I'll obviously be talking about it along the way. I'll be installing the Android N developer preview on it, and we'll see how that goes. But, but I, I also really want to review the service. Now, choosing a, a service for me has always been tough. Um, currently, I use AT&T, um, obviously, because I use a lot of Windows phones. But um, my apartment is a complete dead spot. Okay, so... When the only thing that works at my apartment really well is T-Mobile, which gets five bars of LTE, oddly enough. Now, currently, I have an AT&T microcell that boosts the signal. I've tried Wi-Fi calling, but a lot of Wi-Fi calling, particularly Sprint, doesn't seem to work well for me. Which So Project Phi, there should be a SIM card in here. Project Phi is supposed to use the best of... of T-Mobile, Sprint, and Wi-Fi together. Now, like I said, I've tried Wi-Fi calling, and it's never really worked well for me. Um, I, I'm curious to see how the switching is going to go, because obviously if I make a call while I'm at home, um, it's going to make the call on Wi-Fi. And then when I walk out the door, um, it's going to switch to T-Mobile. So I, I, I'm, I'm curious to see how, how seamless that is. So that's all we get here. We have, um, that's the Project 5 SIM card, and we'll get the Nexus 5X open. Now, this is a phone, this is one of very few phones that I, act, I personally didn't get to review last year. And it's a phone that I really wanted to, okay, because it uses Snapdragon 808, right? And I have, I have tons of phones that use Snapdragon 808. Lumia uh, 950, I reviewed the G4, the V10. Um, but this one actually has a 1080p display, which I have super huge respect for because I reviewed so many phones throughout 2015 that were just felt underpowered because they use Snapdragon 808, but with a 1440p display and the extra resolution just really dragged it down when you're playing games or something like that. So it's really, it's really great to see that someone actually used 1080p. Now, 1080p is 2.1 megapixels, 2.1 million pixels. 1440p is 3.7 million pixels. That is so much more power that's needed from the GPU. Um, and, it, and it's really dragged down a lot of phones that came out in 2015. Now, this is a, a beautiful phone. Um, it really is. I got the 32 gigabyte because that was the only one with this color in stock. <laughs> You know, I paid a little extra. Now, I paid $250 for the phone. Um, as some of us know, Project Phi had that deal going where you could buy a Nexus 5X for $199 for the 16 gigabyte model, as long as you have it activated with Project Phi. Now, I have 30 days to get this thing activated. I'll get it done as soon as possible. If I don't get it done in 30 days, they're going to charge me the additional $150 for the original price of the phone. Now it's 199 for the 16 gigabyte model. I paid 249 for the 32 gigabyte model. Um, and I don't regret it. But um, yeah, so you get uh, 90 days of Google Play Music, which is pretty awesome. And you get a SIM key. Although I don't think you actually get a SIM card, right? So Project Phi also, um, Project Phi also offers data only tablets that you could hook up to the service. Okay, so this is interesting, right? You, you can hook up, the official model supported are Nexus 9, Nexus 7, uh, Samsung Galaxy Tab S, and iPad Air 2, right? So that's interesting because the only phones you could hook up are Nexus 5X, Nexus 6P, and Nexus 6. Okay, but I, I wanted to hook up my iPad because I have an iPad Air 2. I already had a Project Phi supported device. I could have re reviewed the service on that. When I called them about this, right? I called them actually after I, I ordered this phone and ordered the SIM card. And they said, well, you have to have a phone hooked up to the service first. I said, oh, so I can't just, just get a line for a tablet? I said, no. You have to hook up 
a Nexus 5X, a Nexus 6, or a Nexus 6P to the service before you hook up a tablet. Okay, so that was interesting to start with. And then I said, okay, no problem. I'll, 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 I'll hook up that first. I said, hey, I just placed this order. I said, can you throw in a data-only SIM as well? And then I'll, I'll hook up the phone, and then I'll hook up the tablet. And they said, no. We can't even send you a SIM until you're actually activated on Project Fi. Right? I thought that was really interesting. All right, so back to the phone that, that we're actually looking at here. Um, this thing, like I said, is the 1080p display, although it's an IPS LCD, which saddened me a little bit because the, the 6P used the 1440p AMOLED, and I'm a big fan of AMOLED displays, right? It's got two gigabytes of RAM rather than three, which I don't think is a big deal. Um, I think most apps are optimized for two gigabytes of RAM or less. Um, you know, if you're not using multitasking, I mean, we do have split-screen multitasking coming to Android phones soon, so, so RAM might be an issue with that. And we'll see more as, as we cover Android N. Uh, we have the LG charger. I believe this is the quick charger. It doesn't say it on there, but I don't see why it wouldn't be a quick charger. They did say that it supports quick charging as they did abandon wireless charging on this phone. So a couple more notes to Project 5 before we finish up here. Um, from what I understand, the data-only tablets will work on any tablet that supports T-Mobile. Now, I actually don't have a tablet besides my iPad Air 2 that supports LTE, so I'm not going to be able to test that out. What I will be able to test out is what happens if you put a Project 5 SIM card in another phone. Because I have lots of unlocked phones, and I am so curious to see what happens when I put my Project 5 SIM card in there. I mean, theoretically, you should be able to put the SIM card in a T-Mobile phone... And it'll work, but just not on the Sprint networks. Um, I'm also curious on to, as to why it can't work on an iPhone. That, that is something that has bugged me from day one. People have, people have always said, you know, it only works on the Nexuses because they, they're the only ones that support all, those, all the networks. And that's not true iPhones support just about every, almost every LTE band that you can imagine. I mean, go to, what is it, uh, apple.com slash iPhone slash LTE or something like that. Um, and um, it'll tell you what each model supports. And there's a ton of LTE bands on there. And it, it really should be able to do it. Um, and apparently it's the switching back and forth that's not supported by iOS, which is what I've heard. Um, and, and also, I can't, I can't back that up. I, I don't know yet. I'm, I'm just starting to review it now. Um, but if, if it's not supported by iOS, then, then why does it work for the iPad Air 2? And these are the questions that I aim to answer over time. Now, there is one more thing that I want to add about this Project Fi deal. Right? Most, most companies, there are tons of locked phones that you can get for cheaper. Right, you can get the AT and T Lumia 640 for just twenty nine dollars, but it's an AT and T phone. So if you're a T Mobile subscriber, it doesn't really work for you, right? So they uh, AT and T lowers the price of it, assuming that if you buy the phone that's locked to AT and T, you're going to get an AT and T plan, and you're going to continue to use AT and T. Now, the interesting thing about this deal with Project Fi is that they're giving you one hundred and fifty dollars off a Nexus Five X. But, and you do have to activate it with Project 5, but you can literally cancel it the next day. Um, for, through the paperwork that, that I read, there's no commitment at all that says um, I have to use Project 5 for two years or that, that um, or I didn't see anything even about 30 days. Might be 30 days, might be. Um, but also, the phone's not locked to Project 5. Um, so I can use this thing on AT&T or T-Mobile or, or anything I want. So it's really a great way to get a cheaper phone. Um, I mean, if you're going to buy this phone for $349 or, 490, I mean, or $399, um, you can get $150 off and pay $30 for a month of Project Fi, cancel it, and then go head over to, to whatever network you were on, and you still saved over $100. <laughs> so... It's 
it's worth it. So I, I'm going to look into that more as well, but it, it should be unlocked. It was promised to me that, that it would be unlocked. Anyway, guys, that's it. I'm Rich from Neowin. Have a great night.